Hello, welcome. I am Jay Holmes Racer, and this is the home of all things BTCC. Been a little time since I've done a video. Pretty much haven't done one since the uh, final weekend of the BTC season. Still got my um, season review coming up, so obviously I said I'll do driver reviews and go through my uh, my predictions for the season, see how they go. Hopefully I'll get that prediction one up uh, sometime next week. So look out for that. But I thought I would do a little bit of catch up on BTCC news. Uh, and if I'm honest, I think it's been about three, maybe even almost four weeks since the BTCC finale. Um, and I thought we would have had a lot of driving news. And um, we doesn't seem to have had any really. Um, I think last season they came a lot of it came pretty quick, which has been pretty quiet. So if that means a lot of drivers uh, what we stayed on with what they've been doing. But they've been pretty uh some little news we've had today, Tom Olfant will not be driving in the championship for next season. Um, Tom's been around for the last I think, four or five seasons now, uh, between the Sicily Mercedes and the WSR uh, BMW. Uh, he's made a decision to take a sabbatical. He's obviously said he's not pulling out uh, completely. We'll be back at some point, uh, but he's moving to Australia for the year to do something with his partner to help with her uh, career. So fair play to him. Um, obviously pulling out, I'm sure at some point in Australia he'll find some sort of racing to do with the year. Uh, and then 2023, so he was looking to get back into some sort of championship. Obviously, if he's back in, still in Australia, I think he's, so he's going to try and look at super, supercars, uh, which would be pretty awesome if he got into that. Or we're hoping to get back to uh, the UK, back in the BTCC. Uh, but it's going to be a bit strange not to see um, see Elephant in the championship next season. Obviously, that means there will be a WSR seat up for grabs there for sure now. Imagine Tegan's still going to be there. There's no announcement on Jelly yet. We'll wait to see what goes on there. I think a lot of you just going to wait until um, until January when it is the uh, auto show and see what happens there. But yeah, no elephant uh, next season. Good luck to him what he's doing this season. I hope we will see him back the next season after that. And the other thing, it's not really news, but a little bit of rumour maybe that I've seen is that uh, Adam Moffat uh, took part in a Team Hard uh, Mega Day last week where there were a certain amount of cars driving around, passengers around, I think he's around brands. Uh, it wasn't too much of a surprise to see Aiden doing that. I think he drew a few different cars. I think he was in Plato's old Subaru at one point. So I'm in his old Mercedes. I th sorry about that. I think it might have actually been uh, Morgan's, but still, that was a car he used to drive. And there was a bit of a uh, uh, collaboration, sorry, uh, between Laser Tools and Team Hall last season. So it wasn't a surprise to see Aiden taking part in that. But today, uh, on Thursday, he's actually been at Donington Park, so that's not one of the Coopers. Um, so is that kind of an idea that uh, Aiden is maybe going to go into one of Team Hall Coopers next season? Your head news that perhaps Ash might not be driving the Infinity next season, maybe a new team or at least a new car coming in that Ash could be going to. Um, so there's potential that maybe the Infinities are going out of it altogether. Could uh, Aiden be moving over to uh, Team Hard, driving one of the Coopers? Uh, if he drives with a team of Ash, Aiden, and Jack, that's a pretty strong uh, Jack off. That's a pretty strong team for next season for Team Hard. We'll wait for some sort of news on that and see what happens there. But that could mean perhaps the Infinities won't be in it all together. And the way they kind of last year, Team Hard had uh, three TBLs. There's been kind of news of the cardboard. They may not be in it next season. So perhaps he sold off his two. Uh, Ash was running under his BMR um, TBL. And uh, Aiden obviously had one as well. So perhaps Aiden's taken his TBL to join Team Hard to get the four Coopers. We'll wait and see on that. Uh, it would be strange if just the Infinities talk. It was probably the, it was the best car on the grid last season, especially with Ash, but if Ash decided to do something else. Um, but wait and see some news on that. I, mean, I don't like to dive in it too much, um, but it does, does it to me to see a driver such as Aiden, um, when he kind of has his own team, his own car, driving someone else's car, it kind of feels like maybe he is looking to get back into front wheel drive. Um, there, obviously, test out the car. Uh, I think I'll have to get ready for the new hybrid. I think they'll want a strong team. I think Aiden, uh, Aaron, and Jack to begin with will be strong. And I'll see a fourth whenever they get that. But that is it. I said keep tuned to my channel and I will have my uh, look over my predictions. I have filled that video up next week and I'll sort of try and dive into uh, my look back at the season, kind of look at teams, drivers, how they did, how they fun, who did well, who didn't, coming up soon. But thank you for joining me for this quick, short video. I hope you see you again soon next week. See you then.